Hello, wonderful scholars. So here we go. I'll give you the sub plans and just a little bit of direction focus. So let's always get in the practice of going to mccloudclass.com and go into your U.S. History tab. Uh, it should be complete now. So what's cool is I have extended it, assuming that my mouse works. Don't you hate technology when you're trying to get it to work and it doesn't? Welcome to my life. I extended it down so you can see a lot more instead of having to scroll through, which is good. So then you'll see tomorrow I am not there, and we're focusing on America at Home 8.11. I would have you keep in mind that we do have a lot of stuff coming up due on February 1st, so make sure you are doing it and it is done because it is kind of the time where things are happening. Uh, so let's make sure we have that. In order to do that, though, we need to go into the worksheets on our team drive and make a copy of this and move it into your family folder so your family can work on it. And here we go, 8.9 all the way through. Here's the link, click on it. And notice if it says all, it means all in the chapter. If it says A, B, C, whatever it is, it just means that particular letter for that. So then you're gonna write the focus reading notes for that. And the same as usual down here for the key terms, events, people. Let's really work with those. Now this is where it's gonna change a little bit for tomorrow. I will say I need you to start working on this in your particular period. So if you're in fourth period, click on this link. If you're in fifth period, click on this link. And you do not have to make a copy because it's a class-wide activity, so just click on the link and go with it. So if you're period four, for example, or five, you would click on the link and it comes up as this. This is a class family presentation. So just make sure you click on the directions here, read what it is asking you to do and pick one slide how you can document that it's yours maybe if you want to put the name put your name down here you're more than welcome to but each slide has a different name or a different place or a different event uh, your job is to read the directions and make your slide look like the directions are asking you to very simple however this is an entire class thing, so everyone needs to at least do one. And in order for the class to get the grade, all slides have to be completed by submission date, which is on the first or the test day. So at some point, if no one's doing it, do it. You get the double credit. That's how it works. But everyone at least has to do one. So tomorrow in class, if you can start catching up on your reading notes, these are the focuses, and then work on World War II slides for your particular class unit. Awesome. I would definitely recommend that. And then if you would like to put in some notes here on yourself uh, for Fury, go ahead and write your name in the yellow box, excuse me, and then just go ahead and jot some thoughts down about what you saw in Fury because we are going to analyze it in a Socratic seminar and you need to be fresh on it. So put some thoughts in there, maybe what you were thinking, whatnot. But again, I can't stress the importance of this. Go to mccloudclass.com and stay ahead of your stuff. I'm going to try to start filling in a couple weeks in advance so we know where we're going, but pay attention to everything the colors have a purpose so if we go down below we need to see your color master color combination is right there so you know what we're doing and then we also have the schedule in terms of where we're going on what weeks and whatnot and the weeks are labeled here so good luck if you need anything send me a remind uh, but yes I look forward to it guys take care I'll see you Friday